Alright lads, this is the Geordie Jedi here. Today, I'm back in career mode. And at the end of the last episode, we ended up two points behind Man United, who in first. Going up against Manchester United. If we can win this, it's, it's thanks to Wigan drawn against them, funny enough, apparently. If we can win this, we go ahead of them, which is what I want. Because, you know, Champions Cup has been a little bit annoying. Because we ended up third just because we ended up losing to Real. We got put in a, in a thing with Real Madrid. And also injury problems at the start of the season basically means that we're out of, you know, the Champions League Cup. So really, Premier League's all we got going. I mean, there's obviously the FA Cup, you know, but that's... I don't think a huge deal to me. I mean, I'd love to get to the end of it. I can't even remember if I won it last season, no. That's the thing. It's not... Wow, I can't, oh. I can't even remember. It's, it's just not that important to Champions League Cup in the Premier League. And after that, everything's, you know... Anything else, you know? Yeah. Ha! Oh. <laughs> wow. Through, well, I think it was through Begovic's legs, and he just Begovic just didn't well, have any clue. He didn't even try to stop it in the end, you know. Yeah, yeah I think it was right through his legs on a different view. Yeah, right through his legs. Well done, Remy Cabela. Put to a one-nil in a match that we at least need to take a point from because just holding them where we where they are is something I'll get fouled, we're good, we're good. yeah, he's right in a good position yellow card, fair enough I didn't think it was a red. It wasn't even. It wasn't even that position. I'm a bit little. Su I'm a little surprised it ended up being a red. Eh, red, a yellow. No. But give the person on the end the yellow card and make sure that's Fellaini because that'd be funny. I like having Ben Arthur take that. Take the free kicks. Funny enough, he's done well for me. See, <laughs> fucking told you. Two nil. Beautiful free kick. Not, not too much power it was just precisely put no he really didn't that yeah, angle was very very nice he didn't expect it to actually be on target until like about second like half a second after I needed to know it was going in shame that shame that Time it's 2 0 I'm damn right to boo him. Because not only is it 2 0, I have so been playing well. You know, I have had one or two chances, Here apart from the goals the that probably should have went in. Here's Rooney. Chris Smalling. Got man down. I'm assuming he's getting back up, otherwise it would have stopped it by now. Over straight, just back well, we to cover. Oh, Ben Arthur, he get up. Really heavily on his shoulder there. You can see the discomfort he's in. He's a tough guy. I think he'll carry on. Just showing he's right amongst it and knows what's going on down there. Angel Di Maria. Now Rooney. Oh, look at that, he's still got the ball and he's got a bit of space to himself. And he puts it away. He's having a brilliant first season, Lacazette. Was that, I think, did he, I can't remember if he scored against Crystal Palace. It's something like, if he didn't, it's 4-5, and five. if he did, it's 5-5. Five and five. 
good. No, he didn't score against Crystal Palace. A shame, but wow, four in five for Lacazette, which is precisely what I wanted. You know, Hatton Ben Arfa is still probably going to be my top goal scorer this season and probably the next, unless he wants to leave. You know, which, which as at which at his age now I could probably live with. So long as I could get A, a lot of money for him, and then B, have someone like Lucas come in. I was wondering whether or not he's going to point to the spot or not. But is that Rojo? Yeah? I thought so, that was Rojo. A Rojo. Second yellow. Might as well try it. <laughs> that was good. Oh, good man, Cabela. 4 0. Wow. You see, this is the entire difference that a good striker can do. That's why I always want, well, or desperately needed one. I mean, Remy Cabela is obviously a midfielder, but it was Lacazette that got the, got the free kick. Because he, who knows, maybe we'll have another chance here. Because Cabela should be able to reach that. Half <laughs> five nil, Lacazette. Now that is definitely five and five. Brace against Manchester United. Simple one as well. I didn't. I didn't have to sprint to beat Keane. I sort of just had to make sure I kept staying on me the wrong side. That's five nil. Five, three, five from back. What a buy so so far. You know he could just stop scoring. But that's five nil and what a win. Goal difference could make a big difference in the end. You know. And luckily enough for me, whenever I was losing, I never lost really by more than two goals. I always made, always made sure I was only ever, you know, like 2 0, maybe 3 1, that kind of thing. There we are, we're matching points with Everton now, and that's because I'm assuming they won there. Want a good winning streak? Yeah, I'm happy with it. So what comes next in the Barclays Why is the win streak? I can't remember. The league leaders, Everton, entertain sixth place Chelsea, while second place Newcastle United face a trip to tenth place Liverpool. Five games straight we've won. I'm happy with that. But now we'll have Liverpool away. So basically we're getting, you know, we're starting to get tough fixtures here. But hopefully, I mean, you know, we'll beat Manchester United away and probably beat Liverpool away as well. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. Steven Gerrard, his last season win. in the game, possibly. And once your, your reaction slow down, I mean, it's such an integral part of the, the position, and uh, he feels maybe that he's not what he was. Got to be. Oh, oh, the wrong side oh. of the post, but I even thought I was in. Oh, well, good man. Good Over to Cabela. Remy Cabela. That a little bit better. Oh, <laughs> how the fuck did he do that? Six and six, like that fucking good, bad. Genuinely, he's, you know, a passer to him, he took the shot, it was deflected after all, oh, shit, and he just spun round and fucking put his foot at What a goal, that came, that came out of nowhere. Because as, as soon as he slid in, their player and stopped it, I thought, you know, oh shit, okay, we'll, we've missed, you know, maybe I'll pick up a rebound or, you know, go for it again. Fucking hell, he did go for it again, didn't he? Offside, anyway. Position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Good link up. Here's the chance. Miss. Oh, good. 
good in its half time as well. Up 1 0. Relatively happy with that. I played some decent football. But right both been somewhat equal. You know, they have had chances. Mine have been better. In fairness, just stopped them. Lacazette, nice bit of play. Now Lacazette needs to beat his man, which he has done. Oh, and he puts it away. <laughs> Second goal for Lacazette, holy crap. Next season, I think it might be him going for the golden boot. If he keeps up this kind of beautiful form. Drag his back, nice bit of pace, nice bit of dribble. Left foot as well, which is a sweet foot, and he puts it in the top left-hand corner. He doesn't make it, you know, a nice little sort of drop into the back of the net. No, he smashes it in the top left-hand corner just to make damn sure. That Mignolet is not saving this anytime soon. Keeps it going. Then goes the cross. Had it. Ah, that's a shame. Free kick. He could have let the play go on then. The attack was then good. Then Gerard as well. Wolf seems too far back for me. Oh, Gerard's hooked up. He should show. I could tell there you there wasn't quite a goal. Not bad. Tell you won't piss off. get 2-1 and it's because Balotelli for the love of God will not piss off and then I think it was Phil Jones who just kept he kept running across to the left every time I wanted to make the pass he'd run off across to the left Balotelli would follow him which obviously just means Balotelli's in the perfect position to intercept Right back across, good man. Santan straight to Memphis. Oh, Memphis, nice bit of skill to beat his man. Well, how easy was that to beat him? And it goes to goal. So Riviere running into the box. Oh, and goes the cross. Zaka, great header, great save. Yeah, I was just about to pass it to Riviere, you know. Ah well, we'll win 2 1 anyways. But we'll lose Hatton Ben Arthur. And I can't believe that. I just getting back. You know, he was hitting a little bit of a vein of form as well. He was sco he was still scoring goals. Sprinny. Sprinney's aren't bad. They're not brilliant, but they're not bad either. Four weeks. He should be able to actually should be able to come back before the end of the season. Newcastle United two. Yeah, we've got winning form. Queen's Park Rangers now it seems two. like we've got your Tottenham league Hotspur matches coming up. One. Let's have a look at what those results mean. For Round of 32 table. in the Europa at League. The top of the table, I love how it said leaders, Jedi was Newcastle in an optimistic United mood. 53 points. <laughs> yeah, home against Sevilla. Let's look ahead I might make the odd change the because, league. well, I'm going to have to make and this change for a start. Napoli host Manchester United. They have still got Perez, otherwise I might put I might have put him on the right wing. Udinese are at home to Arsenal. Let's bring Ferguson on. Liverpool host Espanyol. Norwich City entertain Real Sociedad. I'm gonna give Delph a quick rest. Let's bring Tielmans on. I'm also gonna give Colacini a rest. No, bring Steven Taylor on. Cabela. Mm, actually no, I might have to be it. I'm gonna give Waghorn a quick chance because he's he has he's failed us a couple of times. I remember when I first got him, I was thrilled because I thought a 70 overall player at 16, which is you know which is brilliant. And then he ended up failing us a couple of times. So and also you know he did have to fight Courtois to get into the team and scuff it for that matter because I think scuff it's a little bit higher than him. We'll go. Hopefully our new Welcome star man, Lacazette, can get with the goals the we need League. now that we've lost Hatton Ben Arthur. Which is, as you can imagine, Jones I'm not happy about. You know, we'll finally get him back and he's injured in after about a month. This is the for this and then he's out for Lacazette another month. You know, it's not, just, it's not just about pace, it's also about ball control. I think when they're on the ball, ball control counts for more than pace. as if it was a great goal. 
It hits off the bar first, and then he just head it back. And I didn't even think he knew what was Nothing going left. on. This Great contact. He headed it. Away. See what I mean? Head of his. Oh, what a thump. This is what the a thump. Piss off. The connection was absolutely perfect. I disagree with that one as well. One yeah. See, that was kind of great connection. Again, that wasn't great connection of a shit as well. But no, I don't score from it. Oh, come on, ref. Of course, it's when I get the ball back, the whistle goes. It's always this fucking thing. Well, we've had a breakthrough, Alan, but decisive, do you think? No, I want to fucking say decisive. We've been a better team. I just, my chances just haven't been as good. Their one chance, and even then, their chance hit the pause, uh, hit the bar rather, and then came back out, so it just formed the header straight back. Come on, ref, man, blow the fucking whistle for a foul. No, not for the end of the game, you prick. It's one of those matches when I've fucking been, I'd been so much better, but that wasn't much link up play, to be honest with you. You know, you know, I really thought with it, with considering the team I now have, even if I lost Ham Ben Arthur, I wouldn't be fucked. I wouldn't be screwed over. But no, apparently yes. Not that I care much about the Euro League, to be honest with you. Couldn't give a shit. One. Seriously, I'm not. I'm genuinely. I'm not three. interested in the Euro League. That doesn't mean I'm not going to try to win. Of course, what man? Of well, course, you're going to be in the Everton game. Entertain first place. Newcastle United. Bottom place team. Norwich City. Because you know he's had. He's I've given, well, given people like Waghorn his chance. He did all right. You know he didn't do brilliantly. He didn't do shit either. Well, second place. Hull City. Entertain second place. Walsall. Anyways, it'll have to be the next episode, this match against Everton. This being the Geordie Jedi, leave a like if you can, it really helps. Subscribe for more videos. And, may the force be with you.